What's up Raptor fans? Today we are going to be reviewing some Japanese food candies. Um, I found these at my local candy store. I can believe I found these. So we're going to be checking out the sushi candy. We're going to be making our own bento box. And we're even going to try some candy noodles. Now I'm really excited for this. I can't tell you how excited I am. I'm just excited to try it. I'm very intrigued with how it would taste. And it's all gummy. It's all awesome. So we're just going to rip right into it. Okay. So it looks like they're individually packaged. Here we got the candy shrimp and I have no clue what those are supposed to be. Some of them are under originally wrapped. Ooh, beam gun egg. So we'll put those aside. Alright. Dump it in there. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm just going to put it back. back. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. And then these go on top. These are marshmallow, definitely. Alright, so let's try eating this and see what it tastes like. Alright, so let's try our candy noodles. First, I'm gonna try one of these. Alright. So good. So the marshmallow is pretty good. It tastes kind of like banana. Everything banana artificially flavored tastes mm. like banana laughing. Not bad. Now the shrimp. It's a bit hard. Not too bad. We're going to try just a little piece of the noodles. That moment I realized I could be doing something better with my life. Kind of like Twizzlers, but different texture and flavor to it. Um, try one of these things. These feel pretty hard. Let's see if I can break a piece off. Fruity. Not bad. Mm. Where is the egg? Little piece of the pepper. 
dang, this candy's like, some of it's like rock hard. Tastes like lime. No, oh, why does all these it's so tough to pull? Really should have come up here. It's been sitting in the box for the last year and a half. All right, I'm gonna put those away. Alright, so my rating on this, it would be about, I would give it a 2 out of 10 on the shitometer. It's not too bad, but it's not too great either. It's, it's okay. I really had higher expectations for this. Anyway, on to the next one. Alright, so... So we'll check out the bento. Let me adjust you guys. There we go. So we get this cute little package. Looks like a table set. <laughs> Alright. Now, this is act really from Japan, but they translated it all in English, thank goodness. I can read a little bit, not too much. All right, so we got this little bag, cute little fork. All right, and then we got all this cute stuff. Okay. So, we're gonna have to cut this off, because this is our filler. This is how we're gonna fill it with water. Measure it. Um, so, just says this is sweetened candy powder. We got the broccoli. Fried chicken, a sausage and egg roll, the spaghetti, and the rice ball. So let me just cut this, fill it with a little bit of water, and we'll start making our first part of the bento box, which will be the broccoli. Alright, so I got filled up with water. Grab my little fork. I grab the green powder. Which, for some reason, requires scissors to cut. Nice. And then we mix. All right. Now it says it'll take about three minutes. So while that's going on, let's make the egg roll. All right. So I got the water. Apart. And we'll tear this open. Mm. 
and mix. The sausage. All right, now the sausage. That is looking adorable already. Next, we make the onigiri, which is Japanese for rice ball. Alright, so I just added the two triangle cups full. And we're gonna add in the rice ball. Okay, now mix. Thank you, Mom. Mm, it smells pretty good. Powder into the hollow spaces. Doesn't say anything about water. Now carefully. Alright, so now we gotta make the rice balls before we can continue. So, we divide it in two sections. Like that. And this we shape like a real onigiri. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> okay. 
Now, trust me, the real version is hard. I made unigiri, and it's not easy. Alright, immediately press like that on both sides until we get something like that. And voila! Put that on the side. Now for the panda bear. Left over. Because we're gonna have to use that part again. So we take two little balls for the ears. And maybe make them a bit smaller. There we go. Alright, we just place them in there and roll them around. Now we roll this one into a little ball. And then we press into this. That is so cute. Alright. Put that aside. Roll these around. Alright, and then dig them out. And place them on the panda. Even though it does not want to stick. There we go. Go. Or paint. Oh, that's the best I can do. Alright, so now we're gonna add another thing of these. And we're going to make a uh, fried chicken and then do it again for the spaghetti. Alright, got the water added. Make the fried chicken. Okay, add it to that, and then we mix it. Okay, then we divide it half, dig it out, and form our chicken nuggets. It smells really good. Alright, and then add water one more time. Alright, just add two more things of water, and we're going to make the last thing. So, let's see. 
And powder. We mix it, and then we. Oh, that's what the back's for. Okay. to the bag. Okay, we got it in the bag. Now I guess we work it down to the bottom. Alright, like that. I go into one corner. Oop. It's a lot harder than it looks. And there's the uh, spaghetti. And now the taste test. This is scary. That's probably the least good looking one, which would be the spaghetti. weird. Not too bad. Let's get the gummies out. That doesn't want to roll. Alright. Egg roll. It's like a sweet, weird lemon taste to it. Broccoli. I just wanted to check in, make sure things were all right between us. Honestly, I feel a bit guilty. Why should I get so lucky when so many folks have it so hard? 
Sweet lime. Nothing else for now, okay? Now, the octopus sausage. It looks pretty cute. Cherry. Another nuggets. It just tastes like sugar. Now we will try eating the poor panda. And that one I like. Hmm. Not bad. I can't really explain the flavor of it. You would just have to try it to understand, but it does taste pretty good. Alright. So this one I'll give a one and a half out of ten on the sugar meter. Didn't taste too bad. It was fun to do. There was a lot of playability into it. It was a fun little activity. So, we're all good. On to the next item and our final item. Candy sushi. Oh, you can even cover it Save it for later. I like that. So this is our candy sushi platter. It's resellable, which I do like. Alright, just let me name off some of these things for you. These are the candy maki. The candy koi kochi. These are the candy ikura, and these are the candy uramaki, the candy ebi, the candy adamame, the candy nigiri, and last but not least, the candy California rolls. <sighs> Alright, so let's start tasting. First, we're going to try the candy adamame. It's not too tough, but it is a little tough. Alright, now the koi ki koi kuchi. Sorry, can't even talk today. I'm guessing these are going to taste like the noodles we tried earlier. It's okay. Alright. Try the Evie. Ooh, these are softer than the other ones. <laughs> they taste like them, though. Tastes the same. Now the candy maca. Try one piece of the seaweed wrap. It 
Tastes like Twizzlers. These ones are a lot softer. Probably because it's been in the package, in a good package, sealed. But it's a lot softer. It's really good. Let's try the Uramak. So it's, okay, so it's basically just peach rings with gummy bears. Let's try a piece anyway. Pretty good. You rip off bear's head. I'm so morbid. <sighs> That's like the best gummy bear I've ever tasted. And usually I don't like gummy bears, but this one's up to my standards. I like this. Hmm, let's try the nigiri. So basically it's a marshmallow with a little fish at the end of it. That was one hard fish. The marshmallow is good, but the fish was a little too tough. But it's not too bad. Next, the California one. Doesn't want to come out. So basically, this is just um. Weird. Well, it's basically just a marshmallow, so let's try it. Hmm. Sweet, fruity combination. It's actually really good. Alright. Last but not least, we're going to try the Ikura. Which is a gun drop. It's chewy, sweet, the balls on it just make it really weird texture. So it's good, it tastes good a little bit, but it, I mean it has a weird texture to it. Okay, so the aftertaste of that, 
like after the weird texture is gone, you get more of that flavor. I, I didn't like the Yakota. Anyway, I give that kit, um, one out of ten on the shooter meter. Because of that one item that didn't taste really good. And because it was a little tough on some of the gummies. But other than that, it was really good. Fruity, sweet, very tasty. I liked it. I think I'll buy it again. I mean, just a snack on. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and also for $20, you can get your own authentic Raptor Girl t-shirt. Like one of these. It's coming off because my daughter likes to tear it off, but it is machine washable and dryer safe. Thanks, Raptor Man. Then what are you? Okay, so. That's my, just the guy. My dad's my name. So, this is just the guy. <laughs> uh, okay, so, anyway, um. Thank you to the group, Babes, for supporting my channel. I really appreciate that. So, big shout out to that group for supporting this video. Um, you can go to that group. There is no judgment. There is no ridicule. It is a nice, safe, drama-free group. I highly advise you go there. And knowing me, I hate drama. I hate it. I mean, half the time on YouTube, there's a lot of drama. You make one little comment and one little video, and everybody just starts losing their minds. It's crazy. So yeah, I highly suggest this group. They're very open. The women there are just amazing and I I just love them. They are incredible. Um they help with situations and advice. It's just a, a wonderful open group where you can open up and nobody will judge you there. I love it. Also a huge Thank you to my friend Eric Zolwin Zolwinski. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I am. Um, she is a wonderful person. And she is one of the greatest friends you can have. She is amazing. She's the one that told me that she would be happy to support this channel with her group. I just love her. She's amazing. So, anyway... Um, don't forget to go to that group, uh, like and subscribe, and also, if you want, I will still do them, um, just put down in the comments any topic you want me to talk about, to cover, I will do it for Top Talks of the Week, which nobody really does. What's up? Sorry. Come on, people. It's, it's not that hard. And also, um, if you want any games for the DS or the Game Boy Advance system or even NES or SNES that you could think of that you'd like to see me play for my Let's Plays, put it down in the comments. Don't be scared, guys. I'm not going to bite. Maybe call Raptor Girl, but I'm not going to bite you. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. And bye. Rolling like a hell cat.